is the Meteor Mark Weather Show. Let's get into some lightning photos here from upstate New York. The ring of fire scenario propagating those thunderstorms southeastward across southern Ontario and upstate New York. Joe Drejos captured some lightning photos here from the Johnson City area, the southern tier of upstate New York, Susquehanna region. And you can see this was the morning of May 9th, 2014 where we saw a good deal of individual thunderstorms. Nothing severe, but the lightning strikes, as you can see here, did cause some power outages across portions of Broome, Cortland, Shenango, Otsego, and Delaware counties, and even northward towards portions of the Eastern Lake Ontario and Finger Lakes region. So very nice photos here. Joe Drejos was actually able to capture these between 3 and 6 a.m. So these, these thunderstorms were those nocturnal thunderstorms that develop on these outer periphery of the high pressure system. And this ring of fire will continue across portions of upstate New York, at least through the middle portion of the weekend. So very nice. Thank you, Joe, for sending these photos in here to Meteo Mark. We're getting off to an active start to severe weather season. Although these weren't severe, lightning can do quite a bit of damage to power. So let's take a look at those precipitation amounts here across the Pacific Northwest a little bit the first part of the weekend, then we'll dry out with the ridge of high pressure. It's here across Texas, Missouri, Oklahoma, over towards portions of Kansas, Arkansas, and extending up towards the lower Great Lakes where we'll see all of most of the precipitation during the next five to six days through the early to middle portion of the new work week. Anywhere from three, four, maybe five inches of rain here across the mid-Atlantic and northeast New York and Pennsylvania, an average of three quarters of an inch will be likely. So let's get into those surface maps here for the weekend. Severe weather outbreak starting across, especially the middle to latter portion of the weekend, across the southern plains, extending up towards portions of the lower Midwest and the lower Great Lakes. That's where we'll see that overrunning and some jet stream dynamics coming together for a damaging wind and hail threat. Also a flooding threat possible as well. Here across the northeast, we'll have that frontal system moving through. And especially the first part of the weekend, we'll see showers and thunderstorms likely Saturday into Saturday night. That will clear a little bit as that system starts to push southward towards your Sunday and into Monday. However, here at Pacific Northwest, we deal with that first system, but that's pretty much out of the woods at that point. So let's get right into the early portion to next week into Monday and Tuesday. We basically see that system start to chug eastward across the Ohio Valley, Mississippi River Valley. We'll see those severe thunderstorms, showers and thunderstorms likely. Those will be pushing into the upstate New York, Pennsylvania and mid-Atlantic regions, western New England. By Tuesday, we'll get some showers and thunderstorms likely. Some of these could be severe as well. So we're going to look for this propagating system. That will be the theme next week. This system will be a pretty powerful system. Not as powerful as that first system from two weeks ago, but nevertheless, hail, high wind, lightning, and flooding, a threat. Let's take a look at those hazards heading on into portions of your severe weather season here. We're looking at mainly uh, for portions of Sunday into Monday. You can see the main threat here across central sections heading on into the Ohio Valley and Mississippi River Valley. That's where we're gonna see a line share of the lightning, flooding, as well as hail and wind damage. Tornado threat still there, but only on the low end range. So that's pretty much gonna do it here for severe weather outlook. And there's a look at the temperatures for the latter portion of the weekend for your Mother's Day. Take a look at this. And it's unfortunate many of you will be dealing with that severe weather outbreak on Mother's Day in the central portion of the country. It's unfortunate, especially for your Sunday, Mother's Day. But look at these temperatures especially east of the Mississippi River, we're looking pretty warm. I'm gonna have a five day outlook for my hometown viewers from Binghamton to Scranton, but don't forget to like me on Facebook and Media Mark. Subscribe to me on YouTube and MediaMark.com. Here is that five day outlook from Susquehanna region of upstate New York and Northeast Pennsylvania. Look at the weekend here. We start off not so great here, quarter to half an inch of rain on Saturday, showers and thunderstorms likely, especially during the afternoon hours. But look at this Sunday, we clear it out. For your Mother's Day, looking very nice, lower humidities, low to mid 70s for highs. But then we start to increase the humidity and the temperature wise heading up towards the 80s for Monday and Tuesday before that frontal system approaches for Wednesday, where we could see numerous showers and thunderstorms. Some could be isolated severe. That's going to do it here at Media Mark.